guys, it's Lisa from Nurse Lisa channel. I am here for an In Your Pocket Tuesday, and this is the inspiration piece. Um, what I took out of it was that gorgeous fence post, uh, and I thought this was going to be perfect for this photo that I got when we were up traveling to see my mother-in-law on Mother's Day, and we stopped on the side of the road. Up, we were traveling up through the um, White Mountains, and there was this beautiful scenery with that type of fence post. So that and also the other thing I think I took out of it was the gorgeous flowers. So those are the things that I'm going to go with and they worked out perfect for this week of my Project Life Spread which was May 2nd through May 8th which included Mother's Day. So right now I'm just kind of getting my photos laid out and originally I was going to kind of go outside of my comfort zone and do the photos in school. Uh, leave them square because if you're uh, one of my subscribers you know that I always round my corners which isn't a big deal in life but I couldn't stand it so you'll see halfway through the video I decide to go ahead and get out my uh, good old uh, corner rounder and round the corners so here that card I loved that card that said things we do that's with my in my scraptastic kit um, I went ahead and typed up my journaling as I normally do and printed it out on photo paper. And also, I really liked the wood veneer uh, words that we got in our kit. This one says story, and I thought it would be really appropriate for um, putting it like right up over my journaling, kind of to draw your eyes to where I did all my journaling and it, actually the font that I used is pretty tiny so <laughs> I told my husband Chris I'm like you know when we get really old and we were blind um yeah we're not gonna be able to read my project life stuff because I had so much to write and I wanted to fit it on that things we do card that yeah it's pretty small but that's okay so that is nurse Nancy up on the right hand corner and our hospital uh they really appreciate the nurses and we get a lot of really cool stuff for Nurses Day. It's celebrated throughout the whole week, and I, I'm just I really appreciate the hospital that I work that I work for. So basically, Nurse Nancy is this doll, and if she shows up, it's like an anonymous secret kind of thing. If she shows up in your department, you are to hide her. So basically, she showed up in one of the offices across from my office. And and she was dressed up, since I work in the OR, she was dressed up like a surgical patient. So it was amazing. She had on a scrub hat. She had on booties. She had a little razor. Uh, she had on little, um, little uh, rubber mitts, like gloves, um, and a bunch of other really cute things. So basically, I was so excited because I've never actually gotten to hide Nurse Nancy. And what I did for this, I took the photo and then I went ahead and picked Monkey and I did a little journaling over the mask because I thought that would show up really well. And um, But to make a long story short, we went ahead and made her into uh, a mother and we put her in the OB nursery. And it was, a, it was a lot of fun. So I wanted to capture that moment, remember that. And there was a little uh, flyer that we had for Nurses Day. So I just cut it out and went ahead and popped that up on some foam tape. So what else? I have a ton of photos, which this is what happens to me, I think, every week. I end up with so many photos that I don't end up using a lot of my kit because I end up with so many photos. So which I guess isn't a bad thing until I have like five bags of kits on my desk and I don't use up all my cards. I love the Scraptastic cards and they're so adorable and but I love photography. So um, the photo of Polly over to the left was her on the bed um, with a new toy. And she has this thing where she insists on bringing the toys up to bed with us at night. And it's so adorable. So I had to get that shot. And then the photo beside that was a photo. Um, I took a screenshot, which I do often. I love to do this with my Project Life of a text I got from my daughter-in-law. My son is away right now. I can't mention where he is, but he's away. And on Mother's Day, she sent a picture of their wedding, of all of us. And it said, um, 
happy Mother's Day, love you lots. And I thought that was so sweet. So I wanted to, to remember that. So I took a screenshot and um, I put it on a card that says right here. And I put a little, um, you'll see later what I do to the card. But anyways, um, and I just wanted to kind of remember that moment. And then over to the right, um, right hand side, there's a picture of flowers, which my other son, my younger son, he sent me a bouquet of flowers. And I thought that was so sweet that there was lilies and irises and he knows that irises are one of my favorite flowers other than sunflowers so those are pink paisley um they're like stickers photo stickers i love those i love that you can put them on photos and they they look like they belong on the photo so i either use those type of things or i go ahead and use pick monkey and actually put the text right on the photo so I thought today would be kind of a nice, you know, word for to sum up that photo. We were driving, like I said, through the notch, Crawford Notch, and it was just gorgeous up there. Um, let me see what else I can tell you that I'm doing here. That acrylic shape, that arrow came with our kit. I loved it. I thought red. I decided when I first looked at this, besides the inspiration piece, that I was going to go ahead and pull out some reds. So I decided that would work along with the right here had some reds and then Nurse Nancy had red hair. Um, the photo beside to the left of the flowers was a photo of my husband. Um, I had a model for me. I was like, okay, stand. Okay, now sit on there. Okay, now turn your head. And I was like, wow, you can be a model. And he was like so excited. Um, and then I put it through a filter and he looks all handsome and cute and everything. Um, the photo, obviously, um, where it says Happy Mother's Day, my, we took my mother-in-law out for uh, Mother's Day, I think it was brunch, was it brunch? No, I think it was actually lunch. And I decided to take a four by six. I like to do that sometimes, and then I like to cut it down the middle. Here, I'm just showing you my Wink Stella, which I don't know why, but I decided to show you. And then I go to show you what color it is, and it doesn't even show uh, when I focus it. So, sorry about that. But it is the clear, and I put that little flower down there, which is, I believe, uh, Caitlin Schaefer's, I think she made those custom um, die cuts and that's the little flower and then I put that little heart which I've had in my stash forever and I wanted to add a little sparkle and shine to that and the word story um, that photo on the right is my husband for Mother's Day got me this earring um, holder it's really pretty and I was setting it up uh, when I got home from work um, and so I decided that I would uh, go ahead and just put a little flower on there and then that little uh, sticker says love this and I had put another sticker too on that um, picture of my husband modeling that says remember because I just, I love that photo. And I think he was so proud when I was like, oh, you could be a model, which he is. He's adorable. Um, so here I wanted to add a little bit of color to the middle of that clear heart because it was kind of just getting lost. And I love my little black dots, which they've stopped making little tiny ones. So these ones, I can't remember who these are by. But I started using these ones instead. Um, not that you guys care about that. But anyways, so here are some pictures at the end. Thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you guys real soon. Bye, YouTube.